Hello and welcome to day 55 in creating this PHP web framework series. This is part three of the database backup section. Didn't have much luck in the previous two videos. Before we actually start the database stuff again, just want to update a couple of, not frameworks, it's just the built-in libraries that you can enable. So if we go to, yeah, and actually one that I want to update, no, I can't, Two that I want to update, I believe, and one that I want to actually add. So, uh, libs to include, so it's down here. So, MDL, I think that's the latest version. Well, for starters, Bootstrap has now officially gone into beta, which is fantastic. So, I'm going to switch this over for beta instead of having the alpha version. I don't really see much reason to have the alpha version. I'll keep in version three. And in terms of this, yeah, I'm happy to, up, I'm gonna check MDL. There's another thing I actually came across yesterday called Material, it's the website material.io. And that's essentially a, what came out of Material Design Light, I was reading, it's almost a year old now, and it's, they're not, Google's not gonna be maintaining MDR anymore. They were working on version two, it got like very big, it was advancing a lot, they just changed it into just Material, so I wanna add that as well. Leave MDL for now, because there's still some things I think that MDL does better or is easier to do. So still leave it. I, actually, you know what? I'll just go through everything and I'll just update everything accordingly. So I'm gonna go through jQuery first. So jQuery CDN. And I'm pretty sure for jQuery, I actually used, yeah, the built-in jQuery CDN. So if I go to jQuery, Trying to figure out if I literally just used it like so. So we've got jQuery here. I use the minified version. I think I did use it like this. Let's take a look. Code.jQuery. Yeah, so I should just be able to update this to, to 321. So 3, 2, and 1. I can know the integrity and all that other stuff's gonna change. So I'm actually going to need to find a CDN link, otherwise it won't work. So let me try and find that. Where did I get it from last time? Maybe it was from here. No, it wasn't a Cloudflare one. It was from actually from jQuery. And again, they had their own integrity keys so I would like to get all of that stuff again could get from the Google API I guess there are any integrity keys well, I've used the ones with integrity keys, unless they've gone away from that now. Let's have a look again. jQuery CDN with integrity. There's the one. Hopefully that's the one. Okay. Because if I click on the off, oh, it opens off without literally just going to download it. Okay, so minified, here we go. Mm. Okay, I will add it because there's an extra feature that I actually want to add. I'll explain it in a moment. So this should be three, two, one. And I need to open up libs to include. This should also be renamed to three, two, and one. So two, two, four, the latest one in two, and same for one, one, two, four. Okay, that's fine. Then I can leave that as it is. Save. This is well. That's all. 
gonna stay as is so if you go back to libs to include and actually the thing that i wanted to potentially do is have an the option to select if you want the minified version the uncompressed version slim or slim minified but saying that they don't all have them so for, for now i'm just gonna keep minified that's fine so if we go back to libs we've done this let's check out bootstrap so get bootstrap i'm pretty sure 337 is the latest one for this i'm not going to whack 232 in there that's just way too old in my opinion if you want to you can easily add that if you want it so i'm going to grab hold of this crap that we need so we need this is going to be called version 4 dash beta that's what it's called and if we go to built-in libs first of all there is one style sheet link copy that and replace it here like so and i always like to close off tags even though they don't need to be it's just habit of xml and this needs to be changed to beta okay so that's the css stuff done and now it is the jquery stuff so i mean the javascript side this should be changed to beta this should be changed to beta and this should be changed to beta okay so i need to grab each one of these so the first one is just jQuery. So what version is it using now? It's using 3.2.1, which is the latest version. I would always recommend use the version that the framework, aka like something like Bootstrap, recommends because that's what it's been designed and tested with, and you'll get you won't get any unexpected errors where something's been renamed or changed in a newer or older version or something's been added and slightly different so you'd rather not put yourself in that situation so okay that's all good now and you go to libs to include so let's check out skeleton skeleton css and what CDN do I use for this anyway? I use, I don't use their own CDN. I don't think they have their own one. First thing is, I want to check what version they're on. This, they're still rocking 204. It's not as popular as something like Bootstrap or Foundation. Foundation, I had 623, Foundation CSS. And let's see what version they're rocking. They are rocking. It doesn't say here. Maybe you're saying the docs. One second. Yeah, they look like they got a newer version. 6.4.2 is the latest version. So. Change that to a four, change that to a two. So I need to update foundation installation, see if they've got what did I use for the foundation CDN? So foundation was yeah, it doesn't look like I used anything special. So even foundation they don't have their own so foundation CDN. So it's Ooh, what's this? Ah, that's the complete JavaScript. Hmm. I like the sound of that. I'll use this for now, so I'll copy that. And foundation, I'll get rid of this.
are meant to copy that. Why do I? It doesn't seem like it's actually copying. Yep, that's okay now. Again, let's close off the tag. And this has been renamed, this should be renamed to 642. Let's confirm that's what it is. 642. And now it's the same for JavaScript. The only difference is I can actually get rid of this entirely. We only need the one now because it's all incorporated within it. So six, four, and two. So materialize, materialize. So is this even worth having in there? Let's have a look. It's in beta release now, so. That is a slightly newer version, I believe. See some of these demos, what they're like. That's a pretty nice looking demo, that is, in all fairness. Um, what is material based on in terms of the grid system? Is it like a whole new system or is it bootstrap? Or something else potentially? So components. So I'll add this. So the version is version's a bit weird. Version zero point one one zero point one zero zero one and it is the beta, is it not? I'll leave it as it is. I think I literally just copied the the CSS part. Yep, I did. So now I need to just update this part in here and in the libs to include and. Okay, so I need to do the same for JavaScript. And that is done now. So I just need to do MDL now. So material design light. See what is the latest version of this. 130 which is what I already actually have so I don't need another one of them but I do want to add material so material so like I was saying the new one in material.io so if you check this out it's a nice looking website so let's go to where am I looking web documentation so getting started and so dynamic components yeah we definitely want all of that stuff so this is called material and the version is Right, zero point. It's quite a low version. So in here, need to just 
after I'll deactivate that. There'll be an array of this is going to be called material dash v. It was zero one seven zero zero one seven zero zero dash one seven dash zero. I'll enable it. Why not? Let me copy this in the built in libs. So let's do the CSS first array. Okie dokie. Process is exactly the same for the other one in terms of the array structure. Might as well one down here while we're at it. So, we're getting started. We need the CSS stuff. And that goes up here. And this goes up here, and this goes up here. So now just need to grab the JavaScript one. Obviously, all of this stuff like MDC auto initiate really we should be doing that ourselves. <laughs> Okay, so now let's check it out. No, I didn't want to view oh, view paid source as well, I guess. View paid source. Okay, so let me have a look at inspecting it. We've got no errors in the console. And we have material, which is fantastic. So if you go inspect, yeah, it seems to be a okay. So the material is working as well. So libs to include, that's all good. We've updated the libraries. I'll deactivate bootstrap for now. And if let's say I want to update, disable that. That didn't do much. Let me confirm material is working by adding a material component. So if I go to oh, this, it's components. I'll add a where's button. I'll just add a simple button. Copy that. I'll add this to the view of. I just it's just to the index page. I'll work it here. Because without this, we should no longer work. He obviously does, it's just doesn't work the same way. So that, that, that's good then. So put that zero, keep that as one, the beta. And I'll get rid of the button as well. So don't need that. And it's been 20 minutes. Okay, so that's that done. Yeah, it took a little while, but it's stuff that needs to be done. Things need to be up to date. It's good to have stuff that's up to date. And. Okay, so we're doing the database backup stuff. So that was, that was in the admin page. 
admin section so we're still trying to do this had no look whatsoever where have I seen it okay I'm gonna say how does PHP my admin export database obviously I don't want a guide on how to do it by PHP my admin I want a guide on how how it does it obviously I don't need those options it's got a myriad of options I don't need all that stuff I see something simple yeah I know that Yeah, I think that might help potentially. So if I go on to and he just show me the actual process for doing it, but I don't want that. Doesn't interest me, I wanna know how to actually write it. Still literally the same thing. Papa. Name cheap is saying the same thing, so if I go to Send me following second line. Good to know. Okay, so we have a bunch of releases, so let me try downloading this one, eh? So what's, they're saying database connection.php, which, I think that's their database connection stuff, which I already have my own database connection stuff. Then we need to add mysql-dump, which I'm guessing is in here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is Copy and paste because I know I've got another file. And so if I copy this, paste it into, close some of these views down. Folders down, I should say. Simplify it. Need to paste it into classes. And it looks like I deleted that file, so I'll, I'll just create a new file. This is going to be called dump.php. <laughs> Save that, and in app views admin backup. So in here, I need to essentially do this. Let me copy this. Okay, so I don't want to do any of the exclude tables, so I'll just I'll select what table do I want to select? Select users for now, just users. Users Yeah, that's fine. No data. Add drop table. I don't want to drop the table. 
single transaction lock tables add lock extended into okay okay new mysql dump uh, so this is the database the database user it says database so is that that or is that that let me have a look so if i put this here Whack that one and probably quickly for this type it out dollar password and we need dollar host dump setting we already have and I'm gonna try try it out I doubt it's gonna work I can't Mm, line 22 if I were to do that, do that that doesn't fix it compress method not found it, does it have a namespace potentially Yes, it does. So I'm going to go on to backup and I'm going to put use in as use and check this out now. Actually, try putting that in here. Undefined class constant G zip. I want to try something else. Okay, so it's got the method now. It's seen G zip is not. Defined try here though. What would happen if I was just common this out? Let's whack this here. And let me empty DSN string. That's problem after problem. Then I believe they had a little test. See what we're, what we're dealing with. So obviously it includes the file, the dump which we've got. Okay, so let me just quickly open up this file so it does this in here so I'll change this to this What I actually do is these are two different dumps. So I'll copy and paste this error reporting all. Uh, make sure that debug mode is actually on so core in it and uh, now we need to go to the config website config and debug is on now in backup gonna get rid of this 
and what we're going to do is don't want to exclude any tables compress it the way that we've set it here add drop table what does that mean add drop table that just doesn't sound very nice add drop table does he have a wiki What I'll do is I'll just export it myself just in case anything goes pear shaped. But I have a backup of it. And I'll leave this in so I'll leave all of that in. So host mm, equals localhost. That's going to be changed to host. DB name is going to be changed to this. Travis is obviously the username and the password is going to be here. I hope it works. I just for some reason don't think it will. Failed to open stream. Permission denied. See, I'm wondering is it because I'm on nine? I'm, I'm local, but it should work locally. We do have that in there, but let's just make sure it is. Okay, so it's it is connecting to output file is not writable. I'll just confirm that it hasn't actually written it. We'll go to application. That's what I'm assuming that it would go to to exam HD docs. In here or potentially in here. If Google can make head or tail of this, and you can just do it like this, I can't be right. Issue Do have new version this we got PDO we're using PDO for that a framework so Do we need anything to do with this? So we'll go to dump. Do we have where is the comments? We are passing in that data, so even if I change that, that shouldn't mess anything up. No, no, because it is connecting to the database. I'll, I know that because when we changed the password, it came up with an error that was different to this. So it's connecting. I 
Let's see what this is anyway. Okay, so it doesn't delete, it's just a statement that it creates. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. I feel like that we're close. So I'm hoping that in the next video we will wrap it up. The, the database dump. We updated the frameworks, which is good. I won't commit that to GitHub yet. Yeah, that's not an urgent thing, but I will commit it the next time we will do the commit. So this has just been day 55 of creating this PHP web framework series. If you have any questions or you want to contribute, feel free to post them or any suggestions on our educational platform, so on our learning .uk. anything to do with framework, Trello, so any idea, the wiki, any mistakes you can see, any suggestions you want to make, feel free. And there'll be a link to that in the description, along with a link to GitHub, which will have the actual source code and links to our social media, so Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. And that is it. If you like the video, please give it a thumb, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.